What's up everybody? It's Peter and welcome to my channel. And today it's going to install another upgrade on my Amiga 500 Plus. I just picked it up recently from eBay. Actually, uh, what I got in this box, quite quite neat upgrade for any Amiga 500, 500 Plus. And I was quite lucky to find it for a good price. And here it is. It's a Terrible Fire 536 acceleration card. Let me open it and I will show you how it looks. I mean, I'm quite happy. I was able to find it, like I said, for a good deal. Usually they go for quite, quite good amount. My blade probably is dull or I'm cutting in a... I tried to cut it the, the way it was box used to open. There you go. And here it is. It's supposed to be kind of fresh built car. And it's, it has a Motorola Autori and runs at 50 megahertz. Uh -oh, let's, the back is kind of small. Let's see. Yes, it is Autori. RC40C. It's pretty much a 40, 40 megahertz processor. I mean, 40 megahertz revision. And uh, customer, I mean, the seller stated it runs at 50 megahertz pretty stable. Well, let's open it, my Amiga, and install it then. It looks like quite going straightforward. It has that uh, card relocator included, which was quite happy to come in a, I mean, one bundle. Okay, pretty much, let's start it. Let's disconnect the keyboard. So far, I got already installed, well, some modification done, internal power supply, 120 watt, uh, Pico Micro, then I installed it, uh, Boobip, uh, two megabyte expansion card, and rewired it, here a couple wires, pretty much now I got two megabyte of cheap RAM, one megabyte of fast RAM, I'm sorry, one megabyte of uh, slow RAM. Uh, this Witcher card 500i revision 2, it provides also additional 8 megabyte of fast RAM and it's running on uh, uh, 68,000 processor. The Witcher card, like I mentioned before in my uh, uh, previous video, I kind of uh, given re opinion on the Witcher 500i. It has couple couple dislikes, which I really was uh, not quite happy with this card. Uh, plus, to reach it 50 megahertz, it's almost like mission impossible. Well, let's install it, uh, terrible fire, and see how well it goes. First of all, yeah, it goes this way. I'm pretty sure that uh, CPU relocator they designed it. Uh, because otherwise it will not fit or so and uh, I kind of like it if it was fit this way but now uh, Kickstarter and um, Fat Agnus I got cooling sink added probably will not fit the way I was hoping it will fit but let's install it the way it's meant to fit and we can go from there okay now make sure all pins is match it the way it's supposed to be, and then we can push it in. If it doesn't fit from first try, don't force it. Just take a good look from every direction to make sure it's it's fitting the way it should be, and it should be good to go. Plus, uh, this card doesn't require any additional hardware. A, a wire attached it like Witcher 500 it should be straightforward and let me hook it up actually you know what yeah then pro I was gonna remove it cable ribbon cable with SD card reader from my uh, from my Witcher even this guy is quite big but then I want to relocate it SD card over here, like on my Amiga 1200.
Here I got something special for that, a plastic bag. Now I can put it, make sure it's not gonna short it anything. You see guys, it kind of fit the way it should be. Okay, let me double check again. Yeah. Now we can plug it in a keyboard. You know what? That relocator, it kind of sticks too high. I want to make sure it will not short it against keyboard. Let me grab it my flashlight. I'm just gonna double check, make sure. You know what? It's kinda too close. It probably will touch it. To prevent that, let me stick it a piece of cardboard over here. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm just placing because those pins feels like it's gonna touch it a metal key portion of keyboard. And I don't want to see that happen. It may short it something. Then I eventually I'm gonna uh, modify it. Okay. Well, now it's gonna be a moment of true. Okay, now we're ready to go. Let's flip it power switch and see if everything's gonna work the way it should be. I'm pretty sure probably it will. Yes, it will. Uh, because like I said, the cart is just freshly built. Uh, I need to adjust it. Quite snappy. Okay, and then we're gonna see how well it will run. Okay, now it's pretty good. Uh, let's run a sys info, and what we got here? Well, it did detect uh, auto processor right there. Uh, let's run at a speed. Well, actually, let's first check memory because now it's gonna be quite interesting. I got 64 megabyte on board. And that's quite powerful, like I said, uh, I believe that's the only one card for Amiga 500, which has a uh, 64 megabyte of fast RAM, then one megabyte of slow RAM I got, and two megabyte of cheap RAM. Pretty much my Amiga, it's up to date on the RAM. It's probably the maximum you can get at, at, at these days. Uh, let's run it as fit. And actually, you know what? I'm really, really happy. It's hidden here, uh, 51.8 megahertz, which is really, really good. It's almost running twice as fast, twice, twice as fast as Amiga 3000 with O2 processor. Uh, compared to original Amiga 500-600, it's 17.4 times faster. Wow, that that's really, really nice. Yeah. Okay, guys, uh, let's run it some game and see if F10 key will work properly the way it should be in a WHD loader. Because on my Witcher 500i will not work the way it should be. Pretty much if you want to exit a game by pressing F10, it will not uh, quit game. Uh, pretty much you will have to do a soft reset. And this game is supported F10. Let's let's run it and see if it does support. I'm pretty sure on a eight, uh, I mean on a 68 or 30 processor will work no problem. That game is pretty fun and quite simple to play. There you go. Yep, it works. Let's run it uh, another game and see if it does support. Yeah, it does support. Well, guys, I'm quite happy with this card. Like I said, it's pretty fast. Well, it's probably the fastest you can get. Well, guys, uh, pretty much that's all I got for this video. I hope it was quite interesting, enjoyable. If you guys did enjoy it, thumbs up. 
If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe. We will be really appreciate. Thank you.